put it this way, this season on August 9th, I feel less bad about it. <laughs> well, also, you know, as, as an actor, you, you kind of like... Yeah, so all I can do is really whine about the Mets to you guys. Okay, well, that's good. Um, how long does your Met... But I became aware of baseball when I was six years old, once my first ball game. I love those men. Maybe for 86. Yeah, I'd seen him probably back toward the gap, but it's run down by Ortega for the first game. But this is a great ball. Play. I agree. Six year old and Shay, you know, I went off the seven train. Idea of being somebody who says as you can do, as Ortega can't oh, quite yeah. catch the liner by Suzuki. Family with stupid voices. That's about <laughs> it. You know, at this point, I'm pretty well practiced. I don't really. What do we got here, fellas? Can I start talking to you about the Mets a little yeah, bit? Yeah, sure. Because sure. this got? is like therapy. What do you got? Especially in this market. You think there was like a collective kind of pressure like that? You just payroll ever in the hit it and uh, excel. Um, but you have a, well, he's going to beat it out. He started out, like you said, 14 and 7. Well, here's another theory of mine that I'll run by you. It's 15 games before the trade deadline, which they got their chance. Like, okay, well, and you think it was an early hook? You think you would have let these guys play through? It would have been. And that's the tough call. There's, this is the one sport where there's really no guarantees on a first. But that's another question I had for you guys. There's some conventional wisdom that says that that pitch clock. Fans are really fans. Oh, yeah. Right. Yes. Like like Jerry when he comes in. Subway stop is my favorite. Perfect. I loved it. Had their way with him the last time they faced him. Of course, that was his first game coming back from shoulder. Seven runs in four innings. And Lindor, and that's down for a base hit. Well, and Dorkin on this mm -hmm. changeup. This one, oh, that was good movement. Yeah. Yeah. There's an auto. And uh, Lindor is picked off. Oh, he was going to go. Uh, the runner is safe. Okay. That took a long time. Base his first time. Yeah, he takes a fastball strike. Nothing at one. And he comes up and in with that fastball, and it's. That's hit in the air to deep left. Lost it, and the Mets have tied it. Oh. Alonzo, a one-man wrecking crew, and he's tied the Remarkable. What a funny game. You know, the month of putting it up. The third, Candelario's got it. Throws up. Alonzo ties it up. That home run means City will donate two thousand dollars to no key. short major league career. It hasn't been that long. What, is it, what year is this with him in the big? In his rookie year in 2019, as Almonte swings and misses and strikes out for the second. Change up out of the strike zone. A ball to strike as it is. Bardem and Canna got traded away. And he's getting all these pit continues on. His last outing in Baltimore. They might need a similar effort from him tonight. Kind of the same role. The ghost. So Dave did the math on Alonzo against the Cubs. And it worked 90. You do the RBI totals too. To Hopper for Lindor to handle. Throws out of Maya, one of six team. <laughs> Not hitting third. <laughs> I tell you what, you might I call Wally and tell him you said that. Well, it's tough. Well, he's in his second big league year. He has to move his feet on that sinker from Hardwick, two and one. And that picks off the outside corner to the pitcher. Seventeen or yeah. games. twenty days. Since yeah. July twenty. Feel hard. And another person who's not that great at math. <laughs> Nineteen games. Do to Horner. And Horner lifts one foul down the right side, and that'll go out of play. Because is it? Nico Horner has a base hit. Two out single. I mean, you get into a double play. He turns around about left-handed for the first time tonight. Takes a call strike. In this series. The last time they made the postseason. A snap throw by Alvarez and back in his corner. The move this year to try and be there. 
And in the Central Division, 2 1 coming. Get there. Side retired. A hit and one in the home fifth in a tie game. And goes up to try and chase the fast by the tie of the game. So there are two pitchers from Detroit that everyone last night. Hey. Two to our row. Hendricks. And this is down with the changeup. Two balls, two strikes. And he gets another one. Six strikeouts on the left in the third. And he takes the fastball outside. It's one on one. Home runs. And he goes after the changeup and misses. And that's eight swings and misses on. He, because of that sink, you see this sink. And everybody get on top of the plate and make him aware of it. But he's coming. And we're. Oh, and it just. Football or, or, or sinker. Dunner and Bellinger will get there. Two out. That. And I couldn't agree more. Do you see anybody doing that? I haven't. I mean, what Pete's talking about is something Rod Carew did all the time during his strikeout tonight. But if you're having this much futility in a pitch. <laughs> well, especially if, you know, you're looking at the chart. 55 feet. Him over the hole. Horner tries to slide, bobbles, grabs, and calls. Something a lot of players around the game have noticed. And one of the reasons hurting the pitcher. That's how I always felt about that. The pitchers are pretty up too. No, it's a big infield. Mm. These diamonds are now so deep. around first base. And it's in every inning, Gary, be your bats, fastball away. Mm, there was that one to hit ball right in the middle of the plate. He fell grounded out to third. And this time it's in the dirt. And Maya blocked it to first. He's running. And it's and Swanson can't get to it. It's a base hit. Nimmo will go first. Alvarez. This is for Henry. And he takes the first pitch change up down for ball one. You see how Lindor took that. Nimmo. And that fastball up and away. And it's 2 0. Even. Door fouls back the change up and it's two and one. Had it away, set up inside. And he just missed at the top of the zone. One coming. And it's golf foul on a 3 1 change up. 3 2 coming. And he got it on his hands and he fouled it off. Tied him up big time. And he walked him. And that'll bring up Alonzo with the bases loaded. And there's nowhere to put him. Hendricks gets the first pitch fastball and slammed this year. And three for his career. Change up. Swings and misses it a change up away, and it's one and two. And it was out. Just... And Alonzo takes a borderline pitch that just missed. Two and two. London Horner is over in front of it. Side retired. And Ortega will get this. So how are you? Doing great, great to see you. Oh, I take back everything I said. I'm sorry. About that. <laughs> you know, I'm back on the Keith bandwagon. Because you stole bases. And I think they can play. Uh, almost a minor league ball. Uh, so these guys are going to go out there and get after. It. Good relief batting for go out there and get after. It. Like I don't know what I should have. Neil drives one deep and out of here. The McNeil who homered in Baltimore during the last road trip. And luck charm, David. Yes. This 51st, he had his 50th there in Baltimore. Way half goes back near the wall, can't get it. It's all day into sex. Um, you know, I think if you ask any any guy in that clubhouse, uh, disappointed would probably come into this rotation because I am reliable. Almonte advancing the backhand flip by Swanson, and now a chance for more first and third, and nobody out with Jonathan Arauz coming up. Figures it out, comes back and just tears it up in late August, September, whenever, and um, you know goes out there. It, for Arauz, and that'll bring in Almonte with the second run of the inning. Was a member of the bullpen with the Long Island Ducks and saw him throw in sidearm a little bit. He had been trying to be a partner's in against Ortega. He bunts it up in the air and it'll go foul. Strike three. Um, yeah, so far so good. So, is in it, but you know, I would love to. I mean, again, you know, I'm, I may be, uh, you know, playing the position. Trevor got on to pitch for the Mets. Working with the lead for Grant Hardwig. Got jams Candelario and Alonzo makes the play. Talkman batting for Patrick Wisdom. 
Bachman hit the go ahead home run of the eighth inning last night. And Talkman draws a walk. And that'll get the full no state tax. <laughs> Yeah. Up and in, and he's hit by the pitch. And Amaya, who we told you earlier, has 59 at bats. And he gets it away in time, and he strikes him out with a high fastball. Got him. And he oh. takes one up and in. Ball one. Plenty of time to get there. Side retire. Got the three batters he faced in the sixth. Stays on to face Francisco Lindor, who fouls off his first Eels home run. And the fastball away from Quas, a ball on a string. Swanson taking charge. So that's probably their biggest issue right now, but their lineup is still fearsome. And he has had a great year. 3 and 1 to Alonzo. And that's inside ball four, and Alonzo's on base for the third time tonight. Alonzo at first and one out. And McNeil takes a slide low and in for ball one. Up foul back and out of play, two and one to McNeil. Going again. Corner is there to grab it, and that's the second out. And Alonzo takes it back to a slider off the plate for ball one. And pops one foul back and out of play. Well, two and two. Three two coming. And Almonte watches outside ball four. And first pitch breaking ball in for a strike. Vientos fouls back the high fastball and it's easy. And he strikes out Vientos mm -hmm. with the slider. Three pitches and the face Walker. And he fouls back the first fastball. Nothing in one. For Colorado in ten innings. And easing over his Nimmo. One out. Bellinger waves at the slider, nothing in one. And he struck him out, up and in with the fastball. And Walker strikes out Bellinger. And that's Will outside, ball three. So just as he did with Bellinger, he's. And Swanson hammers that fastball foul. He high fastball for a strike to Ira, who's looking hit as a man. Takes a knee high fastball for a strike and it's nine. And Arauz takes strike three called on the inside corner and Leiter has. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Undominated every game he played. It's hooked foul by Ortega. You and I know feel the same. By Ortega. And Nico Horner throws him out two away. See, now. Brandon Nimmo takes a strike. Bob Cousy, Dave Free. Bounces that splitter. Thing. And two hopper to second. And Horner makes the running toss. First starts his last Friday. He's gone two for three tonight. A triple and a single. 7.36 ERA. We'll see if they can turn that around tonight. He needs to get. Sail out of here. Say it. And this is now a one run ball on Delario. And he and now the Cubs will have the tying run on base. So Talkman trying to be a hero back to back. And Talkman takes the fastball away for ball one. And Talkman takes a knee high fastball for a strike. And, and Talkman takes his cutter in the dirt. It's two and one. The count to Talkman not running. And Talkman takes outside. And now it's three and one. Mm. And there's the third throw over, and that's a balk, and that'll move kind of like two men on. For eight. And he squares again perfectly. Oh. Forces Mendick to field it. And it's up and away. Over through that fastball. One and two. One two. And it's fell back. Mm. Got some contact on that high fastball out of the strike zone. One two. Got him looking. Oh. Fastball in the outside corner. Yeah. And Warner takes a slider low and away for ball one. Warner's two for three in his career. 2 0. And that fastball's mm. off the plate. Now it's 3 0. All of a sudden, he looked at a Horner. And he walked him, and now the bases are loaded. Three and half. And half takes a fastball for a strike. 
Nothing and one. Swing and a miss. Oh, and two. Bickford. And it's foul back. Bickford's throwing hard. And it's pop foul. We'll do it one more time. He struck him out, and the ball game is over.